Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Dustin, board certified dermatologist, and these are just a few of the videos I found on TikTok this week. We're gonna be reacting to some pimple pops, some cyst extractions, and hopefully educating you a bit along the way on how to take better care of your skin, what kind of products you should be using, and while you watch the video, if you have questions, leave them down in the comments because I do try to reply to those and use your questions for future videos. If there's a full topic that I can make out of it, let's dive into the first video. You know we're doing this at home because we got painted nails no gloves, assist on the cheek, and they're just going for it. I've extracted enough. I don't want to get anybody else's stuff on my body. Didn't have him take his glasses off or anything. Just mash on that. Coming back in for more. No, thank you. Don't do this at home. To somebody else, you're getting their cyst all over your fingers. It's going to smell bad. You gotta go wash that out. So you're gonna get it in his mustache. It's just gonna stink. Ugh. I'm not that close to anybody. All right, this guy's got a big carbuncle on the lip and he's pulling it out with dirty needle nose pliers. Oh! Oh my gosh, I was not ready for that. I'm speechless. No, this is a pretty big open comedone on the left side of the nose and we're coming in with a comedone extractor. They've got gloves. This is great technique and it pops out easily. Down on the cheek. And it pops right out. So comedone extractors can be a great tool because they apply pressure around the outside and get more of the contents of the pimple or the cyst to come out of the skin if it's appropriately sized. When you mash on it with your fingers, a lot of that pressure could actually rupture the pimple underneath the skin, leading to more inflammation. This may be in an armpit where, or the back of the neck, it looks like this patient has acanthosis nigricans, which are changes we see in the skin due to insulin resistance most commonly. So diabetes or pre-diabetes, you get this velvety appearance to the skin and they've got a little cyst growing there. They're popping that out. But we see acanthosis nigricans in the armpits and on the back of the neck primarily. We've got a big cyst on the ear. It looks like he's got another one up on the cheek, but they're focusing on the earlobe. And this may be infected because that's real juicy. Ugh. Wash your hands, man. No, don't smell it. Did he just smell it? Why? You know it's gonna smell bad. Ugh. Go see a doctor for this, man. Don't smell it again. Please don't smell it again. And he's going back for more. Guys, he smelled it. Now, no doubt this is gonna feel better because this is probably really tender. And I wonder if he's gonna go after that one that's on his temple. I think he smelled it again. So I don't know if this was opening up on its own or if before the video started, he poked it with something. We see a lot of, a lot of cysts develop right on the back of the ear for some reason. Ow. Don't smell it again. I think you've done it twice. Now you're out of the camera frame, man. Get back in there. There's still a lot of stuff. Oh, and he's not even gonna finish the video for us. We've got an ingrown hair in front of the ear here. Looks like the patient has safety glasses on. I'm not sure why, but look at all of that hair coming out of there. It's all wrapped up and wound around. But the technician here, no gloves. I don't like that technique. This is a big cyst on the lip, a big pimple. 
And that's a tender spot right on the lip line. Ooh. No gloves. It's just shooting out of there. <laughs> At least they can laugh about it. Yeah, this is gonna feel better after that, but like, just go get it taken care of with the doctor. And it's not because I wanna charge money for it. It's because I want you to be safe. I don't want you to get a bad infection on your face and get scars. Just go see a doctor. All right, thank you for tuning in. If you guys have questions about your skin or your health, leave them down in the comments for this video. And check out my other channel, at Dr. Dustin Portella on YouTube, because that's where I provide most of my educational content and I go see patients in my mobile clinic. And when you watch my videos, like, comment, and subscribe, it supports that work that I do because I see people for free in my mobile clinic who otherwise wouldn't be able to get dermatology care. I can't thank you enough for being a part of this community and I'll see you on the next video.